It's morning. I'm like, well, <laughs> good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. So we had, I had Ryan set the have a heart trap last night so that we could catch whatever predator had bothered our ducks yesterday. So I'm checking that and the trap is not sprung. So nothing came last night, I guess. But this is a uh, have a heart trap and those eggs are the bait. Whatever attacked them in the night and got those eggs the first night and then unfortunately it seems as though it got one of our ducks the second night so we're hoping to figure out who and what it is and get it under control <clears throat> but one two three four I think the other Margos are probably down by the barn because they usually are already out by this time in the morning Let's see if there's anybody on this nest over here, if this nest is gone. There's another nest that they started laying. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. You guys are going to love this. Wait till you see what's in this nest. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a huge snake in there with an egg in its mouth. It's not moving. I don't know if it's trying to stay still to not be seen or if it's swallowed more than it can chew. <laughs> Let me, um, I'm going to try to get some still pictures on my camera and then I'm going to get back to filming and hopefully it'll still be here. All right, I got a couple of still pictures of it. Now I'm going to go in closer, moving aside some of this brush so that you can see better. And he's probably going to start moving. If he's still alive, he hasn't flinched, which is, you know, snake's defensive maneuver is to not move. So he's probably fine. Oh, he's moving. Just want to get it good enough that you guys can see a good look at him. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. He's alive. He is moving. Very little. He's probably having a hard time getting it past that swallow stage there. His little mouth looks like it's cracked open a little bit. Hmm. He must have just started swallowing it. Well, as not cool as this is for the duck egg, I think it's really cool to see nature at work like this. I did say, let nature take its course on this duck egg situation, didn't I? <laughs> well, it's definitely nature taking its course now, guys. Jeez, this is so cool. I guess I'm not gonna do anything. I guess I'm just gonna walk away. I mean, I could capture him and replace him somewhere else but he's fine eating a few duck eggs he's beautiful i like having rat snakes on the property because they eat rats and i have seen a couple recently at night going out to the barn so i definitely want him here i want him on my property even if i have to sacrifice some duck or chicken eggs he's beautiful huh so cool how he stretched out like that to swallow that egg. I scared him up moving some more branches. Now he's traveling. Let's see if we can get an even better view of him when he goes out in the open. Which I imagine he will be visible in just a minute. If he keeps heading that way then he'll be in that open area and we can see him. Might just scoosh him along so we can get a view of him quicker. <laughs> Whoa, he is moving fast. And he is over here in this grass now. I'm surprised he could move that fast. Honestly. Where'd he go? Oh, he spit the egg out. 
Oh, how funny is that? Whoa. All right, he's gone. He is taking off. See him? Huh? Where are you gonna go, big guy? Huh? You gonna know, live under the duck house, huh? See now, if this was the chicken house, they would have got him. I don't know that ducks go after snakes like chickens do. Well, I don't think I'm gonna see him again. He's gonna stay hiding under there. Let's look at this egg. Look at that, it's all wet and ooey from being down his throat. <laughs> he just got one too big, <laughs> or I came along too soon. I'm gonna leave it. I am just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave the nest, I'm gonna leave the snake. I'm just gonna let nature be, because I think it's kinda cool. Well, now that I'm done being sidetracked by a big old rat snake in the nest, I guess I better go get my goat chores done. <laughs> Those goats are gonna be saying, where's my mama? Where is she? And I do see one of the Margos over here. And of course the baby ducks. You guys spilled your water. I have to turn their little tub back over and fill it back up. And I don't see the other Margo, the Muscovy Margos. Well, I hope we still have all the ducks we had yesterday. The buff never showed up. I'm sad about that. She was sweet. Ooh, there's another nature site on the pond. Ooh, ooh, don't fly away. I hope I can catch it for you. Let me try. You see that big white bird? All right, this is gonna be a little shaky because I'm all the way zoomed in and walking. But that's the best chance of us getting a good shot of her. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. oh she is pretty. There she goes. Oh, gorgeous sure where she's headed to. Oh wow, she's coming back this way. No, nope, no, nope, up. Is she gonna go perch up in that tree? Maybe. Where'd she go? I lost sight of her. Well, what an adventurous morning we're having. Wildlife everywhere. So beautiful. I love, love living here. Love this place so much. Let's see how those goatees are doing. Good morning, beautiful girls. Good morning, fancy girl. We gotta fatten you up. You're so skinny. Look how tiny she looks. But good news is I see lots of piles of pellets. All better. She will get one more antibiotic shot today just to finish out her dose. But they get to go outside today. Not right away. I'm gonna wait until a little later and then put them out so they'll stay in here but I'm gonna get them some pellets and let them have some grain today and I already gave them their alfalfa hay which they are nomin on and they're happy and their water is low that means they're drinking oh this is so relieving oh I'm just so happy they're okay I knew chaos seemed like she was good just fine and just right from the beginning she didn't seem that sick so I'm glad that she wasn't that's good let's just cross our fingers nobody else gets sick all right so I um, was thinking last night of course I, I have bad insomnia so I do a lot of thinking when I'm uh, not sleeping and I was thinking I could have sworn there was another goat I was breeding this year. There you go, girls. Gobble it up. Oh, she's happy for that. Yep, she wanted that green. Good. Appetite is a good sign. So, and then it dawned on me. <laughs> it was Spice. And her sister Sugar, of course, but uh, Spice was... 
I think my brain was blocking out sugar so that it could block out spice when I was thinking of who to breed this year. But it's getting it's getting better. Um, spice was a tragic loss, and I'm not sure if there was anything I could have done better um, when she was sick because I really truly didn't feel like she was that sick. She didn't really, she was kind of like chaos where there was a little bit of diarrhea and then none. That's kind of how Spice was. So I really didn't think Spice was going to be a tragic loss. Which makes it all the more tragic, doesn't it? But we still have our sister Sugar. So Sugar is going to be bred with Fluffernutter as well. As long as Fluffernutter does his part. Which he's old enough to, but he's young enough to not get it right. So... And if that happens, then goodness, I don't know what we'll do. But he's showing signs of being Bucky. So that's, that tells me that he's capable. It's just a matter of whether he knows what to do. I know last fall, when I was hoping Bo would be old enough to breed with the girls, he tried to breed Shady, and it didn't work. So that's why I was questioning his fertility. And that's why I was so happy when I realized that Fancy 2 had been impregnated on the first try. <laughs> so that's good. So what I'll probably end up doing is I'll start um, separating the herd into which animals go with which bucks. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. We do have a few dividing fences and we do have plans to purchase another section of fence due to a wonderful donation made to Wholesome Roots. We are gonna be able to purchase another section of that electric net fence. So thank you for the donation. It means the world to us and it really allows us to manage our herd better. So we'll probably end up making a dividing line in between so that we can put who we want in each side and get them bred. So that'll be exciting. And I am so excited about Fancy too. I was thinking about it all last night. I was like, oh, I hope she has twins or triplets. I hope she has does. Anyway, I better get to milking. <laughs> all right. Well, that wasn't, didn't go quite exactly as I had planned. So when I got in there, checked on everyone, realized that two of my little baby dolings have snotty noses. Summer cold stink. I hate that. So I took their temperature and I gave them some probiotics and their temperature is normal. So there's no, there's no risk at this point in time with them. So they're outside enjoying the pasture as they should. Fresh air helps everybody. And I gave them probiotics and I will keep a very close eye on them. Make sure if their symptoms get any worse that I am right on top of it. Because even though summer colds are normal part of life, just like stomach flus are, it can turn to pneumonia. We just always have to be on our toes, don't we? We just have to keep watching out for anything and everything. And just know that we're doing our best and we have a pretty healthy herd despite these illnesses because everybody's got great shiny coats and they're all doing well. We just have these little hills that we have to climb. This isn't a big deal. We're not gonna let it bog us down. We're gonna keep trudging along as always. That's what we do here at Wholesome Roots, right? Please like, share, comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.